Company came up with this whole arena concept. Arena football. It's like a circus. People love the circus. I like the circus. <laughs> It's our baby! Yes. What's up? I feel so gypped that we're in this room and you're not in this room with us. I know. You pay me for a touchdown? I also pay you to win. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I am not an actor, but I imagine that playing Shazam is a little different than playing American football hero uh, Kurt Warner. But not only did you have to, you know, train to take on his inspirational life, but you also had to physically train on the football field. What was that process like for you? It was cool, man. I mean, getting into the head of a quarterback, understanding what the pressures are, what, you know, what is your role on that team? How do you inspire? How do you call plays in the huddle? The differences between college ball and arena football and NFL, and then the physical side of it, you know, I mean, I was already on a fitness program similar to what I was doing on Shazam, but then you take, you know, on top of that, running so many drills, you know, throwing the ball lots and lots and lots every day. It, it takes a toll, but, you know, I had really great people around me with ice packs and, <laughs> and stim machines, and we just kept the shoulder going. Hey, Kurt, we've been trying to reach you. I'm sorry, who are you? I'm with the Rams. Kurt, you of course are such an accomplished football player, but you and Brenda's story is so inspiring. And I think that people are gonna be really surprised because I feel like they're gonna know little parts of the story, but they are not going to know the whole thing. But I imagine that having a biopic about your life is a whole new level, correct? It's a whole new level because it's kind of put out there for everybody to, to judge now. You know, it's, it's one thing when you're on a football field and you know you're good at that. Like, I, I got this. So yeah, there's there's a lot of emotions definitely different than uh, than anything we've been a part of. You're both gonna be like real kids on Christmas morning, that excitement. <laughs> exactly, We're, we gotta wake up in the morning and right, whenever we wake up, can we get into a theater? We're we in. got some friends at Regal, I will make okay. this happen. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Knowing what you now know, do you think you could play professional football? No, absolutely not. <laughs> not, not. Not quarterback, anyway. Yeah. I mean, if I, no, what am I saying? I, not, at my age, that's crazy. No, I can't play. I can't. <laughs> as long as I have a ball in my hands, I feel alive. Kind of like how I feel right now. I feel like most people in some aspect or another are familiar with Kurt Warner's story, but they may not be familiar with Brenda's. So I was wondering for you, she's so inspiring. How important was it for you to get her story right? Crucial. She's, you know, the last person to say anything good about herself, but she's extraordinary. I promised that I would take care of you and the kids. So that is exactly what I'm going to do. Love honestly changes everything. All these um, different stories in it, to me, they, they honestly come down to love. And I hope that people walk away just knowing that one day can change everything. The last interview I had before the world shut down was with these two handsome gentlemen. Oh, oh there we go. I would say and that was you one were of the most you fun went, interviews ever. What's so great about this movie is that it's not just about football, right? right it's right. about faith and perseverance and getting up when life knocks you down. And since I saw you both last, Life has knocked a lot of people down who will be going to see this movie at Regal. So I, my question to you is, after working on this film, what can you tell audiences in, in the way of an inspiration that you, know, that you learned from this movie? That's a great question. To make a movie that just rekindled the dreams of the audience. I think it's been such a tough year and a half. And to be able to get into a theater with a group of people that you love and to watch this story and then to say, you know what, maybe my dreams aren't impossible. If he can do it, we can do it. If they can love each other, stay together and just persevere, so can we. Green went down hard and is not getting up. I will not let you down. If there were to be a biopic about your life, who would you pick to play you? And keep in mind, I am very busy. <laughs> um, Brad Pitt's a little too old now, so 
That's not gonna work. I honestly can't answer that. I have no idea. So, so what you're saying is you'd like me to come on board? As what I'm saying is I think you need to clear your schedule for me because now that you've said it, I think it's a little bit mean that you're not gonna follow through. I will see you on set and I look awesome. forward to it. Just buy me a screenwriter. I can talk to you guys till Christmas morning, till we go to Regal to see this film. Yes. All right, sounds good. We love Regal and we love, absolutely love Matthew.